What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lorna Marie. Today for you I'm bringing you part two of my first aid kit. Today for you I'm bringing you the medicine bag. This is a three part system that I've created to be small and compact. We are a full time traveling family of six. I have four kids so everything needs to be accessible. You know there's a lot of boo-boos along the way. I have put this system together and I had so much fun doing it. They call me the kit queen because I love building kits. There's so many more kits for you guys to check out down below. I'll link them in the eye above as well as last week's video which is the first aid portion which is going to be all of the bandages and all of the supplies that you need and today will be all about the medicine if you haven't done so already subscribe and hit that little bell also if you're not following me on Instagram definitely check me out over there I love when you guys recreate my kits and you DM them to me I will repost them in my stories but without further ado if you guys want to check out this kit definitely keep watching all right you guys I am so excited because today here it is this is the medicine bag. This is part of the three bag system. Let me show you guys the other bags really quick. These were from my last video. This is my boo-boo kit, easy to grab, and then this is everything else. So if you guys have not seen that video, I will link it in the eye above and down below for you guys. But so basically all three of these is my kit now. And I would say it's about the same size as my old hard pink case, which I will also link in the eye above for you guys. It's still a great system, but for me, I like being able to separate them. So now if there's just like minor boo-boos, I can just grab this one for the kids. And then if there's anything else, maybe more traumatic or serious, I can grab this one and it's just super easy. And if I need any medicine, which actually last night, you guys, Nick started having some elbow pain in the middle of the night and it was so easy and accessible. I didn't have to go anywhere. Being in an RV, it's hard to find things or get to things, and now everything is all in this case. I just grab it, pull it all out, and we can access it so much better. It's so funny because on my last video, people were like, where did you get those containers? Where did you do this? I built everything, so everything you're gonna see in here, I created this. It's all me, baby. <laughs> I added this patch. I just did some Gorilla hot glue with a hot glue gun and I put it on here. You do not have to iron these on, which is amazing. There's a zipper part right here, which on the inside, I just have some vitamin C packs. I had a bunch of them. Okay, so what's really cool is you can actually lock it. Let me see if I can show you guys. So these two little loops would go together and you can lock it so it's safe so kids can't access the medication, which I think is really cool. So now we're gonna open this bad boy up. Ah. <laughs> Look at that, isn't that amazing? I am so happy with the way this turned out. It's so streamlined and sleek. These bottles did not come with this container. I found these, researched them myself, and decided to put these in here. Now you can keep the medicine in the bottles that they're in. That's totally fine, so you don't have to write things on them. I prefer doing it like this. I like the streamlined look, and I like how uniform everything is and fits in correctly. A couple things about the bag. So this portion is for different things. It has a zipper at the top here, and so is this. This side is for the bottles, but for me, I just had all bottles, so I put them, put them in here. There are a couple things that I'm missing out of this bag. Number one, I have some Tylenol. I will post a pic of it here. Just some liquid Tylenol, which I'm gonna stick right here at the top with this medicine syringe. I will put the liquid right here. I got a smaller one, so I feel like it goes bad fast. So I'm gonna put that there. And I do have a little bit of space if I wanted to add anything here. Also, I'm gonna add these Tylenol packets, which I don't know if you guys know that they come in powder form now. So I'm gonna add those to the zipper portion of the front. Just wanted to mention that. I'm gonna go over all the medication inside of here. And then we're gonna take a little bit of a break. And I'm gonna show you guys, I have a little haul and you know we got to do some life with lorna in the middle here but anyways here's my kit that's what we do here on my channel i try to do uplifting things and i want to mix it up inside of my videos i didn't get to last time so I definitely wanted to add it into this one so anyways let's go over this first half here this is what it looks like we have the tylenol here and then on the back i have the expiration date and you can have two every six hours now if you feel like you want to add more information on there feel free to do so but this is just what I'm using. Definitely do your own research and figure out what the dosages and are for your family and your age and the weight and all of that stuff. I'm not a doctor. Let me just disclose that now. I'm not prescribing you anything. I'm just showing you how I store my medication. I just took out the first row. I wanna show you guys everything that I have in the top of here. Whenever I do first aid kits, I always get the same questions like, why do you have the same thing in there? Advil and ibuprofen are the same thing. I'm gonna go over that with you, why I have that in here in just a second. But we have Tylenol, 
Advil, Kids Advil, Ibuprofen 600, and Excedrin. Advil and Ibuprofen is because this is 600. This is way stronger and this is a prescription and this is not. So I don't want to only have my prescription and offer that to people. I want them to be able to have the option if they'd like Advil. And then two, Advil and Tylenol do essentially the same thing, but they're different medications. So it's just all preference, whatever you guys wanna have. If you only wanna have Tylenol, no Advil, it's completely up to you. That's what's beautiful about this setup, you guys. You can customize it to what you guys will like. And for me, this is the system that works. I love everything that I picked in here. I did extensive research for myself on what I think is important to have here. I'm also a prepper. You guys know I love prepping. I can't wait to show you guys some prepping stuff that I have in the future, but having things just in case shit hits the fan is super important to me. Some of these are running low and I'm definitely going to make sure all of my bottles are filled up and I have the same expiration dates on all the bottles. Before I stick these all in there and see, I just did this two caps and the expiration date. The only thing that's a little unfortunate, it's a, it is a little bit harder to see out of this side. So if you wanted to try to stick a label on the front or whatever, or have a printout of a card and you can stick it in here so you can just see it at a glance, which is good. This side's a lot easier to see than this one. I thoroughly researched on what exactly that I personally wanted to carry in here as far as prepping goes. I do have another set of medication that I'm going to show you guys in just a second that I got from Jace Medical, which I highly suggest if you guys are preppers or you like preparing for things like I do, definitely get Jace Medical. Anyways, we'll get back to that later. This video is not sponsored. So I love having this because it's way more accessible than having things in my medicine cabinet. We are very, very limited on space and this works so much better. I can stick it on a shelf or put it down in my under storage because I live in an RV. But anyways, let's go back into all the stuff right here. We have Benadryl, obviously that's for allergies. We have Kids Benadryl, these are chewable. We have a sleep aid. This is important definitely for like prepping and stuff. If you can't sleep, you are definitely gonna turn into a different person. Then we have some pills to help you stay awake, which I think is important. If there's ever you need to stay awake, we have things to help you do that. We have kids sleep chewables. Now I do not, like there are so many studies, you guys do your own research on kids having sleeping stuff all the time and no judgment here you guys though i will never judge anybody for making choices with their own children but just do your own research i do not give these to my kids all the time but if we are in a position where we're traveling or stuff is happening and they cannot sleep or whatever i i do like to have these on hand okay and then another thing i wanted to show you so this is on the back of the benadryl bottle so i actually cut this out from the box and then i put stuck clear tape over it and then i put the date so that way all of the directions are here i couldn't do that because i didn't have boxes for everything but the ones that i did it made it so much nicer so i didn't have to print out everything on my label maker we have tums acid reducer dairy relief emodium and dramamine so tums is for instant relief if you you know have heartburn or whatever acid reducer this is a pill that you take I get acid reflux sometimes I've never taken these yet but I absolutely wanted to add these to my kit to make sure that I have them just in case I really do need them I've had it in the middle of the night which is horrible so dairy relief this is for people who are lactose which my husband is lactose and then I have Imodium. This helps if you have diarrhea. This is good to bring on vacation with you as well as Dramamine. Helps with nausea and vomiting. So I have that on me. And also, you guys, like I said, please double check what everything does for you. Don't take my word for it. I am not a professional. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have like painkillers up here. I have sleep aids and allergy. Then we have stomach. And then down here, I have sick and stomach as well. So we have Dayquil, NyQuil, cough drop, softener, and activated charcoal. So what I did with the Dayquil, we'll also link my label maker and some label tape for you guys, as well as the bottles, the bag, all that good stuff. I taped the instructions again on the back, but what I did is, since I wanted everything in bottles, I just cut a little bit down the side and I stuck these in here. You don't have to do that if you wanna stick cartons in here, you guys, definitely customize it. This is just the way that I like everything streamlined and we can still grab everything out of here. You can fit two fingers in here very, very easily and I like having them here. So that's exactly what I did with the Dayco as well. And also I did cough drops, you guys, to just stick them in here. I, I want them easy and accessible. Everybody's always looking for cough drops when they're sick. Obviously, when you get sick, you may need more and buy a bigger bag, but I just like making sure that I have some here. You can definitely replace that with something that you may 
need more. These are some things that I think are super important to have also as a prepper is stool softener and activated charcoal. If somebody gets poisoned or something happens, you can use activated charcoal to draw things out. Stool softener is good if somebody gets constipated. That is like the worst thing that can happen. So it's definitely good to have those on hand. Now I want to create another bag that has more of herbs, tinctures, and different things like that, essential oils. I will be creating that later on, but this is just for my basic medicines. And I'd like to have a variety of natural versus over-the-counter medication. Okay, I just wanna show you guys a couple last things. I found these mini hauls and I thought this would be really good to keep in your purse or an emergency kit. They're super tiny and I like that. They're cough drops, so that's great because usually they take up so much room. All right, I'm just making sure I have my name all covered up, but this is Jace Medical, you guys. These are all antibiotics. They will send you antibiotics over the counter even if you don't need them right now. They're just so you can have them in stock in your home just in case, SHTF, okay? You want to have these on there. I think it is so, so important. These are gonna go in a different bag because obviously we're not gonna need access to these all the time, but I don't want them in this case because I'm not gonna use them. So these are gonna be stored away in another container. I can show you guys how I'm gonna store them if you guys wanna see that later on. If you are a prepper or you just wanna be prepared for emergency, I have a link down below for you guys in the down bar if you wanna check it out. You and I both will get a discount if you use that link, which I so appreciate. But definitely check out Jace Medical. You have all the different variations. They send you a bag and they also send you a pamphlet that I actually have in the front of here that I'll be taking out putting in the bag for this that tells you exactly what everything is for and when to use it and when to take it. Guys, I kind of wanted to do a chit chat with you guys while I put together my baby shower gifts. I have two friends that are having baby showers and one of my friends is, um, I'm actually hosting her baby shower. I'm going all the way back home. And today I just wanted to insert this little segment while I'm doing this and kind of talk to you guys about basically making sure that you give yourself time. Now, I feel like I can kind of recognize, I'm just like, mm, I'm overstimulated, I'm feeling some kind of way. It's time for me to like separate myself. And I feel like as a mom, I'm a very highly sensitive person, I'm an empath. So it's very hard for me to accept that I need time even though I need it more than anybody else. But what's so important, I'm taking this little sticker off, what's so important for you to do is to really recognize the cues. like. I'll start getting irritated really short and just like, oh, and like, I know my breath is a little bit shorter. If you start recognizing those things, you should just be like, hey, all right, that's my cue. I need to separate myself. I need to give myself some time. And then you can come back as a more filled up whole person. And I think it's really hard for us moms, especially when we have the fear of missing out. We value, especially moms that value the time with their family, like me, I absolutely value the time with them. So it's hard for us to leave them, leave them. But what we need to realize is we have to understand the value in taking time to yourself and filling your cup back up. So I'm gonna give them each a pair. I feel like they don't, they won't wear these all the time, you know what I mean? But how cute are those? Oh, also I got this bag from the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna start putting stuff inside of this bag here. I'm gonna just wrap every little thing up so it makes the bag more fluffy. Does anyone else feel like that? You feel like you just don't wanna leave, but then when you do and you come back, you're in such a better mood. It's really hard to understand that. A lot of the times too, I will clear my energies. Now that I'm really aware of energies and how to clear my energies, I have so many different little things that I do. I actually walk around in my purse with a little piece of Palo Santo and I have a little container that I use. I light the Palo Santo. I'll take some deep breaths, I'll wave it around, I'll imagine my energy's clearing out, a white bright light over me, and it just feels so good to understand that you can actually change your energies, it's up to you, it's your choice. So taking that time that you need to, to do those things is so important. I think it just sucks that we live with mom guilt, do you know what I mean? And I have been really good that I, I don't really live with that anymore. I don't feel bad about taking my time because it makes me a better mom. And then everyone else is happy, you know, you got to take the time for yourself. But how cute, I've been really into the neutral colors, so hopefully they will like this. They're probably going to get a bunch of like different color stuff from other people, so I think this will be really good. And here, like that. And there's a couple things that I got for them exactly the same. Each one of them, I got them the same little set. So I'm gonna set that aside, but I'll go in the other bag. I did get them both a little Calvin Klein outfit. Like, look how cute these are. Oh my gosh, so adorable. I love finding like name brand stuff for babies. I think it's just so cute. I'm actually gonna have to fit this into my suitcase. I'm probably just gonna do a check on bag because me and my daughter are both going. So I'm probably gonna just check in the bag that has my clothes 
and the gifts and all that. And then I have a bunch of breakable stuff because I'm doing games and I have gifts for that as well. The only different thing that I got is I got a second Calvin Klein outfit for my friend in Vegas. And instead of the Calvin Klein outfit for my friend at home, I got her this little set. How cute is that? It comes with little pants and little PJs. I feel bad because I never get gifts on the registry. Do you guys get gifts on the registry? I don't, I just don't. I like getting what I want to get them, <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay, I think that's all that's gonna fit into this one here. These are actually my favorite items. So this is called a pod. It's a zip up swaddle. I used to love these. Late at night, you're trying to pop your baby on your boob and breastfeed. These are a lifesaver. And I also, I got this pack to split up. These are amazing, you guys. I wanted to get them both the kinds. This one has the Velcro, and it's just so easy to swaddle them instead of actually having to swaddle them to do it with Velcro. It's life-changing. So if you have having a baby or have a baby shower, definitely consider getting one of these swaddles. Anyways, if you guys ever start feeling guilty, just know that the love that you have for other people is the overflow of love you have for yourself. You have to have, your cup has to be full, okay? And anything overflowing is what you actually give to others. So if you're always pouring from an empty cup is what they say, and you're always like in a bad mood or you're not feeling well, it's because your cup is not full. You have to take the time. And I know we all get busy. Sometimes we don't have the time. Like today, I was definitely pouring from an empty cup. Not in the best mood ever, but it's good to just at least recognize like, look, I could definitely take some more time and take care of myself. All right, so we're doing the other little swaddle in here. I also got them both this wet bag. So I'm gonna give her the gray and I'm gonna give her the black, but these are so good, you guys, if you have a blowout or whatever, there's two different compartments. You can stuff their dirty clothes in, if you're cloth diapering or whatever it is, it's so good. So I'm glad that I have my favorite swaddles, my wet bag, and then also a mommy hook. This hooks onto the stroller, onto inside the car, you can hook your bag. Gotta have a mommy hook on you. So each of them both got a mommy hook. So I'm gonna stick some of this in here so I can make it look cute. This is going, it's gotta go in my suitcase. So, okay, so she's all set. Anyways, I'm doing a giveaway for coaching. There's still probably a couple weeks left. I have a bunch of people that signed up, which I'm so excited. I love hearing your guys' stories and why you wanna do the coaching, but I'm doing spiritual life coaching and also Dharma life coaching, which is helping you find your life's purpose. If you're coming from a religion into spirituality, I can also help you with that. Um, so there's so many things that I can help you guys do during our sessions together, but I'm not starting my paid program coaching yet until after the giveaway is already over. I think it's so important to have support, especially if you guys are feeling like you're drowning, you don't know which direction to go, you don't know how to break things down, create systems, stuff like that. Like that's what I would be here to help you guys do, to encourage you guys, get an action plan. You know, you need to have an action plan if you wanna accomplish things. So if you wanna figure out how to work at home or how to get on the road to be a full-time RVer or whatever that may be for you guys, or just how to survive at home if you suffered some maybe from some trauma and you need some like positive energies at home during the day, like I can help facilitate you guys with all of that. So I'm so excited to have graduated and to be able to do this to help other people. It has been so rewarding to me. I've already been coaching the entire time I've been in school, which is really cool. Then we got the little Calvin Klein outfit. All right, so that one is ready to go. All right, you guys, at any time, if you guys have any questions about my coaching or if you guys want to be a part of the giveaway, I will link that down below for you guys as well. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed my medicine bag of my three-part bag system of my first aid kit that we created here at home. Like I said, I'm a full-time RVer, so we need all of that stuff accessible. That was my intention for you, to have something compact, small, and easy to get to, so hopefully I delivered that for you guys today. Like I said, everything will be listed, all the product links, information, my Amazon storefront, all of that stuff will be down below for you guys as well as my newsletter sign up every month I send out whatever videos that I'm gonna be doing so if you want to be a part of that definitely check it out down below I know you guys could be anywhere on the internet but you chose to be with me so thank you guys again so much for watching and until next time I'm always your girl Lana Marie Love you down, down, down.